everyone this is dr sandeep sharma here and we have a special guest with us dr sudarshan dr sudarshan has got a score of 295 and he has got a merit list rank of 20 in the neat super specialty exam he is a alumnus he is a mbbs student from bangalore medical college and he did his md from rml and right now uh, he is going to be a neurologist in the next few years so congratulations dr sudarshan and welcome to this interview thank you sir thank you so much sir so sudarshan can you just tell briefly about your background where you belong to and uh, how did you you know decide about being a pediatrician all your perspective uh, sir i am from uh, bangalore i am from uh, uh, from a typical middle class family background mm-hmm. and i am the first doctor in my family so i chose medicine i got a, a straight rank of 9 in the karnataka cvt so i chose bangalore medical college i wanted to do my mbbs from my hometown and uh, <clears throat> uh, during my clinical postings in the final year i was very fond of uh, treating uh, seeing pediatric patients so it was uh, right then that i decided to take up pediatrics as a specialty branch and it was quite hectic during my internship uh, in bangalore medical college and i decided to uh, uh, crack uh, the need in the first attempt itself mm-hmm. with uh, uh, quite with, i also followed your uh, lectures and your uh, uh, videos in my uj times for uh, uh, neat uh, pg exam and it was very useful right then and i could uh, get into uh, rml hospital new delhi in my first attempt in my internship great great so i began my md uh, course in 2018 and i completed recently in 2021 from rml hospital delhi and uh, yeah that is it Uh, that is about my life so this is your first attempt in a neat super specialty exam yes sir yes sir yeah uh, and so i don't think you will need any more attempts so you'll be joining very soon <laughs> so probably it's the end of the cycle for the competitive exams now right yes sir yes sir so uh, uh, what is your analysis of the paper how did you find the paper compared to uh, what the previous notions are and uh, what will how will you critically examine the paper what were the difficult areas was it the same as uh, the mock exams more easy more difficult more clinical what is your perspective on that sir firstly i would like to tell that uh, choosing preparer was a really good uh, thing for me because i could i had no idea how the entrance exams would be neat as is Mm-hmm. so after taking the exam neat tests and comparing it with neat pg it is a totally different perspective mm-hmm. uh, so uh, in neat tests the primary focus uh, would be on all the sub specialties as we saw in the paper mm-hmm. uh, almost most of the questions were from uh, the uh, core dm courses which are in the sub specialties namely nephrology uh, hematology neonatology cardiology mm-hmm. and as well as neurology Mm-hmm. uh so i took uh, i took almost all uh, the mock tests which were there in prep ladder i took all the sub specialties as well as general pediatrics mm-hmm. so it actually gave me a perspective of where i stood with respect to other aspirants as well mm-hmm. uh so that was uh, really helpful to me and i tried to solve the question bank as much as possible and i would like to mention one particular feature in prep ladder which i found very useful it is the custom made test which we can uh we can we can take for ourselves we can choose the difficulty of the questions we can choose the sub specialty which we want to take up mm-hmm. so uh, that i found to be really useful and uh, regarding the paper i took uh, ina ss as well i basically did uh, uh, i saw a lot of pulmonology cases during my md time so i thought of giving for pediatric pulmonology in ina ss and i qualified for the first round i got a rank of 3 in pediatric pulmonology in pgi and unfortunately because there is a single seat in pgi i couldn't get into it and anyway i was also equally inclined towards taking neonatology mm-hmm. so i gave a good attempt at uh, neat ss and uh, yeah at the end after uh, completing uh, ini ss my main focus was only on using the prep ladder and revising the notes which i made uh, during your lectures okay great 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 so uh, uh, did mcq practice really help and would you advise that students should practice mcqs also yes sir definitely surely actually my advice for all my juniors even during my neat uh, 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 times a uh, neat pg times i told them mcq practice is the most important because it is not only what preparation we have done uh, maybe 3 or 4 months prior to the exam it is what we perform on the day of exam it is not only uh, the knowledge which we have accumulated 
uh, with all this preparation it is also how we uh, how we perform well during the exam there are multiple other factors uh, which need to be considered during the exam day mm-hmm. uh, so uh, so i think uh, taking more mock exams doing more mcqs gives a different perspective altogether because just doing theory and just doing uh, lectures alone will only give us knowledge mm-hmm. but there are certain aspects like some questions which need to be uh, uh, we need to uh, repeatedly do it again and again mm-hmm. so that it becomes a habit it becomes a practice to know the format of the question mm-hmm. great very well said dr sudarshan so in addition to like prep ladder uh, what all resources books did you refer to and which books would you advise to the students who are targeting the next uh, super specialty exam so it is a very well known fact that uh, for pediatrician to be called a pediatrician nelson is the bible yes. so i was uh, i had completed uh, reading nelson in my uh, pg days i know it is very difficult to read nelson during the first year but during first year i tried to uh, read the, the topics here and there and during my second year when we actually see the cases we present the cases i try to uh, you know uh, fill the voids which i had left during my first year and during third year i tried to revise whatever i had read and uh, apart from this i was also the finalist i represented north zone in last year's uh, iap uh, post graduate wells uh, so that being said i was uh, i was into reading nelson uh, throughout my third year so that helped me a lot so nelson has to be read thoroughly and apart from that, i also read uh, other books for other specialties like path for cardiology and there was a separate pediatric pulmonology book written by uh, arvin uh, by uh, sushil kabra sir dr kabra. for pediatric pulmonology so i read that book as well and uh, a certain uh, journals as well during my preparation mm-hmm. great so uh, there is, uh, this is for the students those who are targeting the next exam super specialty exam among all the interviews which i have taken which includes this interview of dr sudarshan also there is one common thing which you will find that most of the people who have got in the first attempt or in the second attempt and uh, they have done exceedingly well they all have been reading nelson from the first year itself because commonly what the perception is we don't have time for reading nelson so let us do it after you know uh, we have submitted thesis or we are entering into our fifth semester or uh, final year that is the time during which you should be consolidating your knowledge rather than you know beginning to pick up the knowledge uh, nelson whatever time you can find even if you can read two pages a day i think that should be enough whatever you are seeing on a daily basis you get some holidays you get some off try to read that nelson and i think dr sudarshan also agrees with me on this aspect right so yes sir yes sir uh like uh what is your advice for two category of students first of all those who are just joining like one advice you have already said that you should be reading nelson and solving mcqs what additional thing you would advise to those who are who have just taken up pediatrics and are entering into it and want to crack exam in their first go and secondly for the students who are you know uh, they appeared with you they are already post md and they haven't done well so any advice for both set of students sir for the first set of students as i already said let them start reading nelson it need not be in a systematic manner we are not in ug we can't read from chapter 1 to chapter 100 or so like we used to do earlier because we have to it is a predominantly work based uh, we are working and then we are reading so we have to start with nelson we have to start with some topics which we are seeing daily cases and as we progress we can try to cover other chapters as well and apart from this uh, there should there is also some emphasis which has to be laid on our clinical skills and uh, and for the second set of students who are already post md i think i definitely recommend prep ladder the reason being uh, it is already we, we don't have enough time just to dedicate ourselves to reading nelson mm-hmm. because most of them will already be working and they already are planning to prepare as well so with all the videos and lectures what i found the common factor which i found was uh, it is all a consolidated part of nelson it is not only nelson it is also the recent updates which i found really useful especially for the ina ss part wherein you specifically told about the gina update and definitely sir just like you said we had uh, so many questions on the update itself so i definitely would recommend prep ladder for this reason thank you thank you dr sudarshan uh, dr sudarshan you just talked about that you read some journals and some intermittently articles also so that is a very gray area like there are a lot of students 
who uh, say that we don't have the time to read but then equally there is another school of thought which says that you should be reading review articles to get that extra edge for your preparation uh, now how should students be going about it and what did you actually do like how did you read decide which articles are to be read uh, sir i tried to read the journals in my final year of uh, md because uh, once you were trying to see some cases there was some diagnostic dilemma or how to approach a case Hmm. The, I uh, I try to read a lot of journals from Indian Indian pediatrics because that is what we try to follow uh, in India. I found them really useful. And apart from that, I try to attend as many online uh, seminars as possible, webinars as possible. And I got a lot of updates from there. Hmm. And we also had a uh, lot of classes in our uh, during our uh, teaching times. There were uh, uh, e seminars, so I found them to be useful. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. So uh, in the end, Dr. Sudarshan, like uh, you will be taking up neonatology. Where do you plan to take it up? Sir, I plan to take up neonatology in uh, Delhi, sir. Oh, great. So that means uh, you'll be running into me. So uh, we'll be probably meeting over a cup of coffee whenever I come over to Delhi. So, yes, sir. sure, sir. Uh, finally, would you like to dedicate your success to anyone special? Any shout outs to anyone? Sir, definitely. I think this is not, a, this is not my journey alone. Firstly, I would like to, uh, uh, to thank God for all the blessings that he has showered on me. And my parents, uh, Jai Simha, my father and my mother, Tarashti, and my brother, Madhusudan, who already, who, who always, they stood by me, they are standing by me and have supported me throughout my journey. And special thanks to my friends, Dr. Pooja and uh, Dr. Uh, Rajatadri and Dr. Nuzala, Dr. Suraj. All these people have been uh, with me throughout my journey during my MD as well as during my preparation days, which has been uh, pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So all your hard work has now culminated. A new chapter begins. It's not going to be easy, neonatology, but you're going to be a super specialist. And hopefully we'll be reading some, some of your articles uh, in the coming years. So yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it will. It was a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Sudarshan, and uh, all the very best for your future. And uh, God bless you. So thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.